Our boy was not one to run away from an opponent of his own size and age. Neither did he propose to submit quietly to the thrashing facing him. He dropped his stick and bundle and squared off at his foe. Our neighborhood in Philadelphia was a pretty tough neighborhood. If you weren't in a, some kind of a brawl by about 10 o'clock in the morning, it was an unusual day. My father owned a, and his brother, and my grandmother owned a flower shop and greenhouses in, uh, in inner city Philadelphia. It really supported four families there. My first job, starting at the age of eight, was shoveling dirt in, all summer long to fill up the greenhouses. And then in the fall, my job was to, once again, shovel the dirt out of the greenhouses and wheelbarrows and put them outside for the winter. And it made it pretty tough, pretty fast. My mother passed away when I was 10 years old, very suddenly with a cerebral aneurysm. Uh, as you can imagine, something sudden like that rocked the entire family, my father in particular. You know, he was not really the same after that period in time. I had a number of jobs when I was a kid. When I was 11, my father said to me, money is really tight around here. I'll provide room and board, but school books, clothes, and certainly saving for college, you're on your own. As a young boy, the one thing that I, that I knew was that I wanted to go to college. Um, I didn't know how I was going to get there. I showed up my freshman year, and despite having worked all those years, I was $1,000 short of my tuition. I went down to see Father Garrity, and he said, okay, you can stay, John, he said, but you have to sign this promissory note that you'll pay us back before the end of freshman year. For the four years that I was in school, I had four jobs. Uh, I drove a school bus early in the morning before classes. I tended bar in the evenings on weekends. I was in charge of dormitory maintenance, and I also caddied on the side. And I graduated without a dollar to my name, uh, literally on that Sunday morning. He's a natural giver. Kindness is woven into his daily routine. Through all his hardship in life, it's developed in him. He doesn't have to think about it. It comes deep from within. For me, the American dream means an opportunity to be educated, and then an opportunity to use your talents and skills and as an individual to reach whatever heights you're capable of reaching. You don't have to worry about where you came from. It's where you're going that's important, and I think the sky's the limit.